Hello YouTuber, this is the Electronic Technician. Today I have a Kicker ZX2500.1 Kicker. This is the shell. Let's take a look at this massive board. Okay, this is the overview look of the board. All these, uh, got a good look at these transistors. These fats. Mm, diode, bubbles, regulators. However, what you see here is just the face of the other side. It's just, just the whole entire board there. Uh, this amplifier came in and it had a, a kind of a unusual problem. There is the power light. It comes on, it goes through the checking system, whatever, and it comes on and it work. Work as usual. But after a while, the, the one of the 12 volts rail on the pre pre circuit it just fades out. And after I checked, there was a missing the minus 12 was missing, and that traces back to here. This is the negative, and this is the positive over here. Uh, the positive is you can see all the capacitors is in black and as you can see the negative side it's some different colors these are the ones that I had to replace the amplifier it comes on around what, 50 volts or so 50 to 60 volts and what it does it takes the 50 to 60 volts come down here with a plus and they use these capacitors and these diodes and stuff to reduce up to something around 20 22 25 volts or so and there's where these uh these uh kia is 78 78 and 79 12 this is 79 and that's a 78 over here and it takes it and then it reduces it to 12 volts and this was one of the rail that had a problem when i checked there was these um let me see if i get one yeah these two the value of them was really low really low as like this one was supposed to be like 10 it was like six this one was like a hundred it was like 80 something uf uh sure where it is yeah and the amplifier it just works a little and then stop it just fades out fades out completely there will be no protection light it's gonna show like it's working but it's not so i'm gonna Use my bench power supply and try to switch it on here. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Right. Good. Relay. You may not be able to hear that in the microphone that I'm using because I'm using my smartphone to record this video. Gonna churn up. Yeah, you can hear that bass there. However, this is what you have to look for, this 12 plus and minus. These voltage could be missing and the amp will not go into protect. It will never like show that there is a problem. Normally the protection light is there to shut the amplifier off, but it will never like go into protect. Everything else is gonna seem fine, but it's not gonna show up a problem. This is a nice design of amplifier, as you can see these boards. I want to give for you to close up this. At least the video is there to show you. However, this amplifier is massive. It's about at least about two feet or so. Not exactly about two feet, but they are really massive amplifiers. Now this is a close-up view of the amplifier. Take a look at those chips. Mm. And yeah, 
and this is the electronic technician and thank you for watching and if ever you have a problem with this particle amplifier I hopefully that this video may be helpful to you the 12 volts reel is gonna sneak up on you capacitors are the culprit I think most of these um, due to the age the capacitors the electrolytic capacitors they're getting dried up so be aware of that